I want to discuss the difference between PyTorch, TensorFlow and Keras in this video. PyTorch and TensorFlow are two most popular deep learning frameworks. There is a third framework called CNTK by Microsoft but it is not as popular as the other two. PyTorch is by Facebook and TensorFlow is by Google. Now you'll ask me what is Keras then? Keras is not a full-fledged deep learning framework just like PyTorch and TensorFlow. Keras is just a nice wrapper around TensorFlow, CNTK and Theano. So previously when people were using TensorFlow or CNTK directly, uh, the programming uh, in these frameworks was not that easy. It was a little difficult. So then Keras was created as just a nice wrapper around these libraries and it just provided a convenience. So it is not a full-fledged framework but it just provides you a convenience. Here I have a code snippet where you can see if you import Keras, by the way, if you want to install Keras, you can just do pip install Keras and uh, you, the code snippet will look something like this if you're directly using Keras. And nowadays with TensorFlow 2.0, they have made it a part of TensorFlow library itself. So here is another code snippet where you can use Keras directly from TensorFlow. So in all, all our tutorials, we are not going to install Keras separately. We will just use TensorFlow and then we will use Keras which is inbuilt into TensorFlow to make use of their convenient APIs. Now, if you are using a Keras previously, like you can specify a backend. So in the code snippet of Keras, you, 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 have, you would have seen the backend was uh, TensorFlow by default. And you can change the backend, you can change it to CNK, CNTK or Theano. But we're not going to go into all of that. We'll just use TensorFlow and use Keras within the TensorFlow uh, to write our programs. So I hope that clarifies the difference between these three. Uh, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.